finally 2020 is over what a crazy it was honestly i'm just glad that it's over not that everything is back to normal or whatever but we're here guys it's a new year and only good vibes now let's dive into today's video so recently i got a mail from stevens institute of technology saying that there's an update on my application a little background i'm currently in my final year doing btech and i've applied to a few ms programs in the us for fall 2021 so i opened the email entered my credentials clicked on view update and boom there was the decision letter i got accepted and also they offered me a twenty thousand dollar scholarship so yeah now stevens is obviously not an ambitious school i supplied there to have a safe option i'll wait for decisions from other schools that have applied to which will probably be out by March or April. In this video, we're going to talk about different ways that they are to help you fund your education. And I will make a lot more videos on similar topics in the future. So if you're interested in going abroad for studies, then do consider subscribing to the channel. Message me on Instagram at IceWhipShake if you have any doubts and I'll be happy to help. Funding your education in the US is for sure an investment. It could take anywhere from 25 lakhs to even 70, 80 or 90 lakhs. And therefore it's important to understand how you're going to fund your studies and what different ways are there to get some of your tuition fees waived off by your university itself. So first, let's talk about scholarships. Scholarships are given out by universities to students with amazing profiles. The most common is merit-based scholarship, like the one that I received from Stevens. The scholarships are given to top students and as the name suggests, they are merit-based. Different things that the universities take into consideration when selecting the scholarship recipients are GPA, your test scores, that is the TOEFL, the GRE, the IELTS, and uh, the LOR, the SOP and work experience, internships that you've done, research experience, basically everything that makes up your profile. A lot of top schools consider your complete profile while there are schools that only focus on the GPA and your GRE scores. So it's always advised to give your best into every aspect of your application. There are also some need-based scholarships that a few schools offer, but not too common for graduate programs, but still they're a wonderful way to help you fund your studies abroad. Some universities like Stanford, Cornell, Brown, they offer 100% scholarships, which is basically full tuition waivers. These scholarships may have different applications than the ones that you submit for your program or they could be offered on the basis of your profile as a part of your application. Check out the website of the universities that you are planning on applying to to see what different scholarships they offer and how to apply for them. Also please apply early. They have fixed amount of funds so it's always good to apply before the first deadline. Moving on to the second way of funding your education and that is assistantships. Assistantships can be in the form of TA, RA or GRA and they can be obtained once you've started your studies in the US. Students get these assistantships in their first, second or third semesters. TAs and RAs can be given to you right in your first semester itself but for that you need to have a great profile and a good research experience. You can also send an email to your professors asking them if there are any TAs or RAs or GRAs available. The third way to fund your education is on campus jobs. These are basically part-time jobs where you can work as a librarian or you could work in the cafe or you know some jobs like that that they are on the campus. Obviously these don't pay too well but hey even small amounts matter a lot. Other than the few ways that we've talked about, students can do internships and co-ops to help with their expenses, living expenses, and also cover their tuition and health insurance. You can also take an education loan. In fact, most of the international students do so, and then they repay the loan um, by working in their OPT period. Thus, to have a good return on your investment, it's always good to do your research and apply to universities that sort of match your profile that could help you build a great career. And I guess that's all for this video. And guys, as I said in my last video, this year we are going to go crazy. There is so much that will happen in this year. I want to push a lot of content to help more and more people make educational videos, fun videos and do all of this um, different. Like as you can see in my last few videos, I want to find the true me. I want to find the style of videos that truly represents who I am and that I enjoy making. But more importantly, I need to prioritize my health, especially my mental health. And I hope that you do too. 
See, it's easy to go with the flow of life and just grind and grind and grind or to just let time pass and not do anything, both of which suck. That's why it's so important to realize what matters to you and set priorities and take time on the weekends to ask yourself, how are you, you know? All right, let's end the video now. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year and uh, I'll see you soon.